Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 13th of 2020, well, it is titled the tarantula zone. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the Tarantula Nebula, which is a great star forming region about a thousand light years across. Now it doesn't appear very large in the sky, because it is so far away. And it's actually part of the large Magellanic cloud nearly 200,000 light years away from the Earth. But it is really the largest star forming region within our uh, that we know of within our galaxy or even within nearby galaxies. So it is an incredibly large star forming region. And the example is given in the description as to how big this actually is. We often look at images of the Orion uh, Nebula and the Orion star forming region, which is a great uh, nearby a star forming region. So the processes that are going on are similar to what we see here. However, were we able to move somehow the Tarantula Nebula to the same distance as the Orion Nebula, the Tarantula Nebula would fill half the sky instead of just a tiny portion of one constellation. So gives a put it a little bit into perspective as to how large of an object this actually is, and that it only appears so small because of the great distance being nearly 200,000 light years away, instead of just 1500 light years away. Now, as I said, the Tarantula Nebula is a part of the large Magellanic Cloud, so it's actually easy, easily visible in the southern sky. So if you're down south of the equator, you can easily see the large Magellanic Cloud a nearby satellite galaxy of our Milky Way and the Tarantula Nebula. Of course, in order to see this much detail, you need a very deep telescopic image to be able to pick up all the detail that we can see here. And you can see lots of gas and dusty areas. And you can see a lot of hollowed out areas, likely remnants of previous supernova explosions or stellar winds pushing material out and clearing out the nebula. So when stars form, they form from the gas and dust, but then they begin to shape the gas and dust afterwards. So supernovae like the most recent one, uh, most recent and close supernova known as supernova 1987a, uh, which was the closest supernova to go off since the invention of the telescope. And that is also located within the Tarantula Nebula here. So supernovae are also associated with star formation because when stars form the first ones to form are those very massive ones that are likely to explode in a supernova and again help to shape the nebula itself as the nebula will slowly change over time. So that was our picture of the day for November the 13th of 2020. It was titled the Tarantula Zone. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.